this video, it's basically gonna be old news in a way, talking about colors, but I just wanted to have one video where we are addressing this because building up this panel already, already gave me a chance to color the panel in various ways. So uh, what you see is that I decided to color the, um, the media player inputs on the bus row in a rose color. That is true for both media player two here and media player one over there. And the way I did that, if we open up configuration for those two buttons is basically, you can see for, for button number four right here, I added an action called local color right there, which has rows as the parameter. For the other button over there, I added a local color on in the normal state when uh, I'm looking at that one. What we also did, we, we previously played uh, with colors for the whole controller, by the way, but in particular for section two up here, we see something which is interesting because I, I have multiple colors right here for those keys. And then uh, when I'm, I'm in the macro state, I have macros all colored in uh, amber color. And when I go to audio, I see just a, um, a uh, uh, a bluish color for those. And the way I did that was in section number two, if I enable all my states, you can see in the macro state, I have inserted local color. In the audio state, I have inserted cyan color. And in the normal state, I've inserted green color. So if we go to the normal state, how do I see the green color? Well, the thing is that uh, what I did was to say green is actually my, my on color while my my off color is blue. This is what you see right there. So it was a kind of um, unusual scheme for showing colors for this transition, uh, transition selection. And um, if I, if I, I could, for instance, turn it off completely. So like that, if I do that, you will see that as I'm now saving, those are simply turned off completely. They do not have even a dimmed color in them. So the question is, what happens to these over here? Because actually by setting this for the section, it's supposed to affect all six keys, but that's obviously not the case. So the reason is that for each of these keys, and let's just take this one, number three, and then uh, number two and one. Yeah, let's look at all of them. You'll see that in the normal state, I can disable those two states, in the normal state, I assigned to the first two keys a local color as well for amber, while for this key, I assigned a local color purple in those two cases. It also has a shift state, so there you see it's a local color in the shift state. If I wanted the shift state to have a different color instead of purple, I could just change this to ice, for instance, save, and then as the update is, is made and I'm saving, now it's ice colored instead. So this is how you can work with coloring on a Skahoy panel, adding local colors. You can do it for individual actions. You can do it in individual shift levels. You can do it for sections. You can even do it for the whole controller.